What's going on? This is Andy coming to you again from here at Andy's World of Bass. Today I have the pleasure of showing you this beautiful custom shop Dragonfly instrument. This is the CS5. Um, it has a long list of amazing features and materials, so I'm just going to jump right into them. And we'll start with the body. It has a light ash body with a flame maple top finished in this beautiful transparent blue with kind of a light half satin half matte type finish and a cool thing about this design that I found right off the bat is that it has this kind of exposed um, backside so it has a really really nice kind of two-tone look to it that is very very cool um, it has a five-piece laminated maple walnut neck with a Madagascar rosewood fingerboard and it has the pickup cases, the custom pickup cases are also made from this, um, it looks like they're made from this beautiful Madagascar rosewood. They're not black, they're actually uh, wood. Um, electronics, it has, typical to a, a jazz bass, it has a volume, a blend control, and a passive tone. Then over here it has a three band EQ, treble, middle, and bass active passive switch and a mid frequency select switch um, really nice smooth tall uh, vintage style tuners on there for one headstock um, very cool um, sort of mid high mass kind of bridge it's not ultra high mass which is nice but it does have the side walls and some nice mass in the back with the quick load uh quick loading slots and you can also string it through the body if you want to back uh control um controls access here and the battery really nice five volt neck system with a nice rounded heel everything about this instrument is absolutely primo boutique handmade custom shop um you know prestige quality <laughs> Dragonfly brand um, is handcrafted in Japan by Harry's Engineering. Here in the United States, it's not likely that you've heard of Dragonfly. Many of you have not heard of Dragonfly yet, um, and that's what the role that I'm playing, partnering with Bass Japan Direct to bring some of these instruments over so that um, so that you can check them out, so that you can hear them in my hands and hear, hear my comments and um, how they react to my playing and also be available to you because this instrument is currently, you know, right now it's available to purchase. So let's play a little bit. Okay, so let's go to the, we'll just start with this front pickup. When I was just tuning it up and checking it out, I was really it, um, blown away by the warmth and the roundness of the, of the front pickup. Thank you. 
All right, now let's go to both pickups. <laughs> very fast and easy to play instrument a bit easier than I'm used to because on my own personal basis I have the strings quite a bit higher so it's actually taken me a couple seconds to get used to being this this easy to play <laughs> I could sit here and play slap bass on it for another hour, no problem. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna go to the back pickup and I'm gonna bring back the, the passive tone a little bit. And I'm so impressed with these Dragonfly um, custom shop hand wound pickups. The, other dragonfly instrument that I had first, which I've already um, sold, and it's with its very happy owner now down in Florida, also had the, 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 these custom um, or these hand wound dragonfly pickups. <laughs> tone control that really works. You know, there's so much, so much um, um, versatility resides in a very well done passive tone control. take that for granted that that the passive tone will be um, very very nice and, and offer a lot of subtle differences but some of them don't you know it's kind of like they do nothing up until 70 percent and then and then they start doing something you know you know what I'm saying now this one every increment Every increment does something. I like it. My typical passive tone is right 
the way that I like it is right at about 80%. sound now we'll go to the um the eq was the active electronics was turned on but nothing was um was uh, boosted or anything <laughs> switching between active mode and passive mode without any of the EQ controls boosted or cut it should sound identical which it does however there is a slight and ever so subtle little bit of headroom um, a little tiny little bit of uh, headroom um, increase when you turn on the preamp but don't boost any of the controls and that's kind of like my default setting I just like that on all of my active passive bases that have a preamp I always have the I always have it in active mode but seldomly do I even boost or use the EQ or if I do I just use ever so small amounts of um, bass middle and treble in that order, meaning I'm most likely to use the active bass, I'm next most likely to use a smidgen of active middle, and I'm the least likely to boost any active treble. But for the sake of showing this preamp, It's got really great action. You know, if I set my basses up like this, I could slap twice as fast and do way more of the um, flashy stuff, but I just tend to prefer a big, fat, tight, round sound. So I 
give away a little bit of that speed in to um, to keep my sound bigger, you know. <laughs> could be argued all day long many people would say you know screw that I lower the action all the way down to nothing and let the EQ do that type of um, making it sound bigger there's no right there's no wrong just differences okay so going back to what do we think of this preamp are so nicely done on these instruments. demo with this custom shop dragonfly i hope that i've covered enough to pique your interest if you have any more questions regarding anything about this instrument the availability purchasing it you can contact me or you can contact danny over at base japan direct and this can be shipped out to you uh, immediately it's selling for two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars twenty seven fifty plus shipping and it comes with a really nice hard-sided soft case so um Dig into the Dragonfly brand, do a little research. Um, don't just take my word for it, I always say that. Um, I assure you this is the utmost highest quality handmade custom instrument. And um, as you can see and as you can hear, it's absolutely beautiful. So I hope that I can get this to someone and make them real happy. As far as I know, it's one of the only ones in the United States right now that's available. And um, what a beautiful instrument. So. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all the videos and uh, more to come. All right, friends, we'll see you next time. Peace.